Hello. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you do this uh, reversed reverb effect. If you have like a vocal like this one. Choices may change, but our hearts remain the same. And you want this uh, reversed uh, back verb effect on it. Choices may change, but our hearts remain the same. I'll show you how you do this now. First you gotta get the sample you're gonna have this effect on recorded inside an edit song. Choices may change, but our hearts remain the same. Cho Just so you can reverse it. So you have to record it and then reverse it. Like this. Yes, and the immersive. Then you put a uh, reverb on this. And you can mess with the settings on the reverb as you how you like want it to sound like. So then you have the sample here reversed and you have the reverb here and after that you have another Edison you can use to record what's coming out of the reverb. And then you take this this recording and reverse that. Now I have uh, only the reverb, but if I adjust the mixer a bit, I can have uh, both the reverb and and the original sample. Yes, and the reverse. Reverse that. I'll just normalize it. Choices may change, but our hearts remain the same. Now we have that nice uh, reversed effect on your vocals. But you can also do this effect on other samples. Like uh, a kick. I have a kick here. We can do exactly the same thing here. Just reverse it, put reverb on it, and record that. Then reverse. You can have that in like uh, a build up at the end of a break or something. You can have uh, you can use this uh, effect on a lot of different samples and sounds, and you can mess and play around with the reverb to get different sounds on it. You can have different uh, durations on the reverbs, and uh, yeah, just mess a lot with it. Well, that's it for this tutorial.